So let us recap, first of all, what we did in the last class. And uh, what we will be discussing and talking about in this session. So in the last class, um, we have talked about, we have discussed about various asset transactions. We'll continue doing all those different uh, asset transactions today as well. So that is our agenda for uh, various asset transactions. So we created Asset Master. We learned how to create asset, how to change asset, how to display asset, how to look at the asset history. So all those different uh, transactions, we looked at it. Now, we want to talk about and do various transactions which we have in the asset management. We did some more, tra some transaction in the last class, but we'll do it again. And then we will also do other various asset transactions as well. That is our agenda for today. So in asset cycle, we can have our different uh, transactions. So we can have a asset acquisition, asset retirement, allocation, depreciation, appreciation, et cetera, et cetera. Then we can also have various other transactions as well. <clears throat> so in asset transaction, these are some of the asset transactions buying asset, selling asset, credit memo to asset, acquisition of the asset from internal production. I may be, and we did that before, we're gonna do it again. We do not necessarily always buy the asset from outside. We're going to talk about how do we acquire the addition from internal uh, production, how do we do the adjustment posting, how do we do the retirement with revenue, without revenue, how do we do the depreciation and appreciation. And uh, so these are the different transactions. There is also something called asset history sheet, which basically means, it's a, it's a basically report where you can see all the different uh, functions and transactions related to SAP. So that is what um, basically happens as far as SAP is concerned. Okay. There is also two posting keys, 70 and 75. We saw those posting keys before also, posting key 70 and posting key 75. We can debit 
and we can credit. So that is why we have a posting key 70 and 75 in the SAP. So we have a, these two different uh, posting keys, 70 and 75, debit and credit. So various uh, <clears throat> asset transactions are possible. Okay. In the asset transaction, obviously we um, buy asset and we can sell asset, we can appreciate depreciate asset, we can do a credit memo on asset. So all those different transactions we can do as far as SAP asset management is concerned. So that is what we can do. So in asset and general ledger, we can have a, you know, asset being appreciated, depreciated. We can buy asset uh, from a vendor. In some of these transactions, we did before. And uh, let us do other transactions. So I want to do a transaction of asset purchase from external vendor. That is the, we want, this is what I want to do. In that, um, I want to create a vendor master, or I can use existing vendor also. So that's not, we have done that many times. Create a asset master record, which we can do with the transaction code AS01. Then, Verify asset in asset explorer. So that asset explorer gives you an update about the asset. So we're gonna check that. Okay. Then we will also uh, do some additional, uh, so Asset Explorer, and then I'm going to purchase Asset from external vendor. Transaction code F-90. Okay. So purchase asset from external vendor. Then we're gonna verify asset accounting document. That is AV03. Okay. 
verify. Please make a note of all these steps. So this is exercise we're going to do. So it is easy for you also to follow. So make a note of all these steps, please. Good morning, Satish. And then that is what we will be doing. So this is our exercise. So thank you all. Uh, and uh, so let's continue with my exercise. So this is the exercise which we're gonna do. This is our exercise of creating asset and uh, also doing asset transaction. Okay. So that is what we will do today in this class. Oops, so let me log into SAP. So this is my SAP logon pad. Log on. And uh, I log into SAP. Okay. So now what we're going to do. So the very first exercise, first step we're going to do, we want to create a simple asset master. So that is what we will be doing. We will be creating a uh, seven asset master. Okay, so let's do that. So we create um, seven asset master. We go to AS01. So we go to accounting, financial accounting. Then we go to uh, fixed assets assets create and as01 we are creating a simple asset and uh, we we're going to create a simple asset and um, So this is asset master. This is what we did before. We're going to do it again. So we go to asset master. This is a asset master screen. I select my company code, which we have been using PVH1. We create an asset. And we select an asset class. So we can choose, let us say, asset class machine. So we are creating different kind of a machines. Okay. So machine is our asset. Okay. So we can do that. So I select machine class asset. Now, what is the asset class and all that? We talked about that in the last class. And uh, basically, we talked about, and we also created, we also configured a new asset class as well. So we can, Take asset class 2000, hit enter. So this is the asset here. And then we go to description. So we can describe the machine. So today, January 16th. Okay. So we put a description. Okay. 
So this is the name of uh, asset is machine. If I want to assign to any uh, business area, cost center, we can assign them and I save. See the message in the bottom. Detail uh, asset uh, 23260 is created. So we created a asset. Now in this asset, if I want to go back and the check the asset, I can also go back and check the asset also. So we can check asset. So this is the simple asset we have created. So now, after the creating asset, we can also go back. So we can verify the asset in Asset Explorer. So I want to go back and uh, go back. And here we have a Asset Explorer. This is the transaction Asset Explorer AW01N. So we have Asset Explorer transaction a w 01 n okay so we put it here a w 01 n okay so we can put it here now here we have a company code pvh1 we have asset 2336 fiscal year 2021 and if you see that here all these different values, everything is blank, 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 blank. Nothing is there. There's no value, nothing is defined, nothing is assigned, everything is blank. So here we see the plant value, everything is blank. Posting value, everything is blank. So everything is blank because against this asset, we have not run any transaction and we have not done any transaction yet. Because of that, um, everything is you know black now i go back i go back this exercise actually we did in the last class also is kind of a repeat from that perspective but that is fine so because this is a one of the basic transaction we need to be aware of <clears throat> So now we go to the next transaction that is to verify the asset, uh, um, purchase the asset from the external source. So here we go to asset, then we have a posting, then we have acquisition. Then we have external acquisition. And now this is a transaction where we can have F-90, which basically means I can purchase, acquire an asset from external vendor. Okay. So we can do that. So here we have a F-90 with the vendor. Now this is the transaction code. Now probably, have you noticed that my screen look a little bit uh, slightly different? Are you guys noticing that? Yes. My screen looks different because, uh, and you can do the same thing as well. So, so you might have seen that uh, my SAP screen 
looks different. I have upgraded my SAP GUI to new version which is if you see that here SAP logon 760. So I have upgraded my SAP logon SAP GUI to 760. 760 is the latest version. This is the newest version. So I have upgraded my SAP. Now, if you want, you have a choice. If you want to keep your GUI as you have, you can keep it. If you want to upgrade, you can also upgrade. Okay. So if you want to upgrade, then you can upgrade also so what i have done is um so what i've done is on the google drive where you're in where you're downloading your documents right So in the SAP FICO training material document where you're downloading all these documents, I have also uploaded this folder that is called SAP GUI 7.60. So from this SAP Google Drive, you already have access to all these documents. So you have access to this Google drive as well if you go to folder share with me in your google drive you will see sap gui 760 you can download that i have put into the folder so anybody everybody can download when you download this then it will download in your desktop and when you open up this file, then if you go to SAP GUI, and then you will see setup all. And when you click on the setup all, it will allow you to install the latest SAP GUI. Okay. okay, so that's a choice. If you want to do, you're welcome. I kind of did it yesterday. I kind of like this uh, new uh, layout. Uh, it's a little different. It's more digital. There are some changes in the screen, so a little bit confusing for me also because I'm also using it actually uh, last 24 hours. So sometime, uh, you know, slightly uh, confusing for me, for me as well. But if you want to do it, you can just go to Google Drive and you can download the GUI and you can install it as I showed it to you in the class. If you want to keep it the way you have it, that's also fine. Okay, so now coming back to um so we are doing the acquisition from the purchase with reference to vendor that is what we were doing before and uh, i select my document date so i select my document date 
posting date um, document type kr see that here there is a document type kr so kr is a vendor invoice so here we need to keep a make a note when we are posting this so we have doc type doc type kr okay so every document is a document type we have done several document customer invoice vendor invoice this that credit memo debit memo incoming payment outgoing payment all those different transactions which you have done so all these different transactions are basically allowing us to do all these different transactions so kr is a vendor invoice now here you will see there is a posting key 31 so make a note the what posting key we're going to use so we're going to use posting key posting key 31 now posting key 31 what is posting key 31 no 70 is for the for the asset credit this is the vendor side because we are purchasing from the vendor so there are one debit one credit so debit asset and credit your so here we have a 31 so here there is a credit entry because your vendor is getting credited so that is why they do posting key 31 in which uh, posting key 31 it is for v v for vendor and c is credit so we are doing uh, posting key uh, 31 and posting key 31 is basically vendor credit and uh, is a vendor and credit the vendor okay that is what uh, posting key 31 is i can choose uh, account type okay so uh, we can choose account type uh, vendor so this account basically means the vendor here so we go here in the drop down and uh, for our company code which we are using pbh1 we can select the vendor so this is my vendor and i can choose any of the vendor or you can create a vendor also for this company code if you want to okay now here we have a transaction type we see the tt type so there is a button here called tt type <clears throat> so now what is the tt type tt type is a transaction type now in the transaction type so that these are these are different asset transaction types in asset transaction type they are all different asset transactions so that basically means all these different asset transaction which you see in the drop down technically business perspective all these different asset transaction we can do so they, that is, if you see the drop down there are 220 entries you can create configured new also but all these different uh, asset transactions we can do in sap okay so we have a asset uh, external asset acquisition so we are selecting 100 why 100 because we are purchasing this material from external vendor so we select transaction type asset transaction type 100 so we have selected asset transaction type this is asset transaction type is different document type is different asset transaction type we are using 100 so we are using 100 asset transaction type okay that is what this basically means so we have selected here 100 if you want to put any reference and all that i can put a reference so machine purchase what that is about then we hit enter we enter the amount say one thousand dollars 
So we go back to, we put a posting key here. In the posting key, we will enter 70 because we are debiting customer is uh, we are buying the asset. So because we are buying asset, so asset has to be debited. So we're taking posting key 70. So 70 A for asset and D for debit. So we are seeking uh, posting key 31. And then we are selecting posting key 70. And what is posting key 70? Make a note of all these things. It is asset. And uh, we are actually debiting the asset because we are purchasing. So asset get debited. Okay, so we debit the asset. Okay. So please make a note of it. Now we go to asset transaction type. So we go back here. And now in the account, we select our asset. So we just created asset this one. Uh, the asset we created today was this 2336. We created asset. Uh, that asset we created was 2336. So this is our asset 2336. This is what we created today. Now, if you see this capitalization date, it is blank. You see that here? Class 2000, description, machine, asset. Um, Account determination to uh, 20,000. We talked about account determination in the last class. Capitalization date, not it is not capitalized. See the 0000. Now, here there is a capitalization date because on the date uh, this asset has been capitalized, so there is a date here. This is on 10, then this is on 15. But here on this asset, the capitalization date is blank blank because we have not yet capitalized, we have not purchased this asset at all. Therefore, capitalization date is blank. Then we have an asset number. So 2336 is the asset number. We select that. So we are purchasing this asset. 2336, which we just created. Dash 01. You see the dash 01? Because we talked about group asset also. So within asset 01, we can have a different asset. You know, we can have asset 1, asset 2, asset 3. And uh, you know all these different assets we can have. Then we put a transaction type here, 1,000, 100. Then we hit enter. Then we put amount, 1,000. So one debit entry, one credit entry. Now if you see there is a this is the save sign. This is a, a screen is slightly different. So this is the save sign, and then I hit save button. See the message in the bottom. The message says document 1900022 was posted in the company code PVH1. Okay. Now we got this document. So we this is the back button now. So it's slightly different. We want to exit yes. So what I want to do, I want to go to transaction code AB03. So we posted this transaction. Now I wanted to um, asset transaction type 100. And then I wanted to verify my accounting document. And there's a transaction code for AV03. We have AV03. So there's an AV03. This is AB03. This is AB03. We put a company code, we put an asset, fiscal year, and then we hit enter. Now, here, this is what we have. Asset valuation date is this. So, this is the asset valuation date. This is the amount posted 1000. Transaction type was the, this is 100. Then we do asset uh, acquisition. So this is the asset acquisition. Okay. And uh, depreciation value is zero, nothing is depreciated. This is my asset. This is my company code. And uh, 
if I want to go back here and see there is a button here called accounting document. If I click on it, it takes me to the accounting document. This is the document number, company code, fiscal year. And uh, here, this is the posting, 31 posting key. Where is this account? 500421, this account, this is for the supplier account. This account is credited because supplier is get credited because we are going to pay to the supplier. So supplier is credited. And this asset, which is uh, uh, 2336, so this asset is debited for $1,000. Now, so this basically means its asset has been, so this is what you can see, the document. This is the transaction code AB03. So here we have a transaction code AB03 or AB02. So we have a transaction code AB03 and AB02. It is equivalent to the transaction code we have been using, which is AB02, AB03, which we have been using to see the accounting document. So for asset document, we have a separate, uh, one of the separate transaction that is called AB03 and AB02. So we can use those two transactions. Now, I want to actually verify asset master record. So I want to go back to the asset master record. I want to verify the asset master. I can go to AS03. So now I want to go to AS03. So let's go back to the AS03. So if you go back in the bottom, this is A03. I want to see what happened to the asset master. And we can go to A03. I put my asset number, sub number, company code. I hit enter. So now this is my asset number, 2336. This is my class description and all that. Account determination 2000, uh, 20,000. We talked about what that is basically. Then we have a capitalized on 116, acquired on 116. Acquisition date 2020 in the 001 means it is acquired in January. Okay. Um, and uh, if you go to origin data, it will also tell me that which vendor we acquired from. So this is the vendor 5000421, and this is the vendor we have uh, used, and this is the vendor we, we have used to acquire it. And we go to depreciation area. So we have a useful life as a 10 year because that has been defined too in our configuration for the depreciation area that also we have discussed and we talked about. And uh, so this is the depreciation area. This is my depreciation key, useful life, which is associated to is 10 years. Depreciation is start on this date. So we have seen this uh, asset, uh, uh, what is the impact on the asset is. Now the, the next thing, the last thing we wanna do in this exercise is going to transaction code of it, um, asset explorer. So I want to go to transaction code of asset explorer. So after that, this is Asset Explorer, AW01N. So now, if you see that here, this is my company code PVH1. This is Asset 2336 in the fiscal year 2021. And then asset value is 1000. So we have asset value equals to 1,000. And uh, why 1,000? Because we have acquired this asset at $1,000. Now, if you see here, we have a asset value date 116. So today is 16. So system take 116, amount 1,000, transaction type uh, 100, so today, this is the transaction which we have posted. So against this asset, this transaction acquired from the external asset has been posted. So that is the 
transaction we have done today. Now, if you see that here, there is a, if I scroll down, there is an asset value of nine, uh, so there is an acquisition value 1000. 1000 is coming because we purchased this machine in $1000. Obviously, 1000 is an example, and uh, this could be whatever the value and amount we want to do. So we can do that. Okay. okay. So we have an asset value equals to 1000. Now, if I scroll down in the bottom, then we, there is a depreciation value of 96. Now, why it is coming 96? And from where this 96 comes? So because the asset value is um, for $1,000 and the useful life is 10 years. So 1000 divided by 10 become $100 per year. So that is the value it will depreciate $100, $100, $100 every year. Now in this year, 15 days has gone past because today is a January 16th. So it is considering taking 15 days off so that basically means in the year 2021, 50 days has already passed, two weeks has gone past. So it will not depreciate for $100, but it will depreciate for $96. By end of this year, it will have 1000 minus 96, the net book value, net book value basically means at the end of the fiscal year 2021, what would be the remaining asset value? So by end of 2021, the remaining asset value of this asset would be $904. $94 value would be depreciated. So these are the plant value. Then if you go back here in the posted value, the same thing you will see here that uh, we have a uh, acquisition value for uh, uh, five dollars now if you see here in the bottom every month so there's a period one two three four five six seven twelve so at the what system has done these are 12 months and in for these 12 months you would have 96 dollar will be depreciated and how much it will be depreciated every month so it does the calculation Okay, every month it is eight dollar, eight dollar, because ninety six is also divided by twelve. Because every month, how much would be depreciated? So in two thousand twenty one, whole month, which is eleven month and uh, eleven point five month, so total value it will be depreciated is ninety six dollars, and then every month it will be depreciated this much amount. So every month the value is gradually reducing. So that is what we see here in the in asset explorer. Okay, so that is the exercise which I wanted to do as far as the asset explorer is concerned, and the purchase from the external vendor is concerned. Now I want to do some more exercises. Is a rounding, it calculation method. So here, I want to do one more exercise. Now, in this exercise, I want to do asset purchase from internal. from internal production. So I wanna do asset purchase from external production. So I want to create a new asset and then we want to 
purchase the material from from internal internal production okay. so i want to change this uh, scenario make a note of all these steps which you want to do okay so make a note of it so asset purchase from internal production So create asset master AS01, verify the asset and asset explorer AW01N, purchase asset from internal production, and then we're gonna verify asset accounting. And this is the end-to-end -end exercise we're gonna do. Okay, let's do that. So we we could be slightly quicker because we have done a lot of these steps before. So we create an asset. I'm going to create this asset with reference to copying an asset. So it's uh, easy. So I'm creating asset. Now, if you see this is asset, capitalization date has been put at the 116. Then we hit enter. And uh, it copies everything. Okay. And then we hit enter. And then we hit save. Okay. So we can so see the message in the bottom. The asset 23370 has been created. Okay. So we created a new asset. I make a note of it. So this is my asset number. So new asset has been created. Now I want to verify asset in asset explorer. Go back. This is my company code PVH1. This is my asset 2337, fiscal year 2021, and everything is blank. We know that nothing is there. Now, after that, I want to go back to the exercise, which is ABZE in house production. So, I want to do this exercise in house production which is a b z e a b z e so i put a company code i put asset i i put um, document date from this date to this date okay. and uh, we hit enter We can post, we can post the amount. So what is the offsetting account? And we can save it. So see the message in the bottom, asset transaction posted with the document number PVH 4000013. Now I want to go back and check the asset document, AB03. So I want to go back to the document. So with this is one, I want to verify accounting document now. So this is a 2337. So now here, we have, this is my asset. This is my company code. 
this is my uh, asset valuation date 116 amount posted 1000 transaction type 110 so we have here asset transaction type 110 the earlier we use asset transaction type 100 this is asset transaction type 110 it's a new transaction okay okay so that is where we have So we have asset transaction type 110. Okay. So here we have asset transaction type 110. Now, if we select that and I go to accounting document. Now, in this accounting document, what we see? So here we have a posting key 70 because asset has to be debited. So verify as uh, asset accounting document. So we see the posting key. Posting key 70 because we have to debit our asset. So asset has to be debited. So posting key is 70. Then we have a, then we need a corresponding credit entry. Now in the last time, we credit our vendor because we had a vendor, but, but this time there is no vendor. <coughs> <coughs> we have a clearing account that is called in-house production. So there is a posting key 50 and this posting key 50 is uh, my jail account getting credit so we have a posting key equals to 50 which is credit jail account last time it uh, credited the vendor but there is no vendor so there is a clearing account that is what we see here now here <clears throat> there is a header we can go back to the header also now if you see the header the document type is aa last time document type was kr this time document type is AA. AA is an asset accounting document. So we created a document type AA. So this time, so this here we have a posting document type was KR because there is a vendor invoice. <coughs> In case here, we have a post uh, uh, asset document type AA okay so we can talk about so these are the different posting which you have done So asset document type equals to AA. Now I can go very verify my asset um, asset master record. So we see this so accounting document AA. We verified. We close it. We close it. We go back. We go back. Go back. Now I want to go to asset master. 
I can check the asset master. What happened in asset master? Now, asset master, this is my description and all that which we put. This is account determination key we talked about in the last class. How it is associated asset class and helping in the asset accountant. And then capitalize on this date. Acquisition year 2021 in January month. Okay. In the in origin, again it put my vendor account. Okay. My account general ledger. And then we can put our depreciation area. And this is also for 10 year life cycle. Exit. If I go to the asset uh, record, um, if I go to asset explorer, so now the next thing which I do is asset explorer. So this is asset explorer, same thing. So this is my company code, this is my asset 2337. And uh, this is my fiscal year 2021. Acquisition value is 1000. And uh, ordinary depreciation is 96. Okay. And then remaining net value is nine, the same calculation, exactly same calculation as we. Um, okay. And that is what we do here. Okay. So that is why we do, um, you know, these are the two transactions we have done. And I have a, we're going to take a 10 minutes break and we'll talk after 10 minutes. So 10 minute break now, and then we will talk after 10 minutes. Yeah, we can talk about all these general questions. Um, Hafiz. If the client has a 1000 asset, do we have to create and post? No, you can do in mass. You don't need to do individually. So you can do all these different transactions and posting individually, not individually. You can do in the mass processing also. Okay. So you can do individual processing or you can do mass processing. In SAP, you can do mass processing, not only for asset, you can do mass processing for any transaction. You can create a mass customer, you can create a mass vendor, you can create mass material, you can create a mass assets. Because in a company, it could be thousands of customers. There could be thousands of vendors. There could be thousands of assets. There could be thousands of material. So any of these master data, we can create in the mass. Okay. So what we have done today, we have done two exercises. We have done asset, okay. Asset uh, purchase from the external vendor, and we also do asset purchase from internal source. So we are the we did the two asset uh, exercises. Okay. Now I want to do one more exercise. This is basically creating asset transaction. So we go back. So we go back to asset transaction. I want to do with credit memo. So I want to do a scenario of credit memo. So that is the one we I want to do. Credit memo. So I want to create an asset. And then I want to purchase the asset from external vendor and all these different steps. And in that, one of the steps I want to do, I want to post post credit memo for asset. So that is what I want to do. The so post asset with
post credit memo for asset. So that is the one exercise I want to do. So we go back, we create a set. These steps are similar, so I will just go fast. So we create another asset. We can use existing asset also, but um, so asset, I select my company code, select my asset to copy. Hit enter and it's it. Okay, see the message in the bottom. 2338 has been created, so we just created asset. We make a note of it. This is the repeat of what we did before. So we created the new asset. Okay. I'm not doing asset explorer and all that because we've done several times. Uh, purchase uh, asset from the external vendor fds 90 so we are purchasing the vendors we can have a vendor uh, asset from the vendor i updated to the new version while break time wonderful mm -hmm. did you find that uh, sap gui in the in the in the in the in the, in, um, in the google drive right yeah this uh, yeah wonderful good uh, i don't know miss i kind of like this uh, this is um, uh, this is a this is a better look and feel. Uh, seems a bit faster also. So you know, um, so it is always good to have a maybe latest and greatest. But if you want to keep it, um, you know, the old one, that is also perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that as well. Uh, so it's not that that is different. Yeah. Okay. Good. Now. So let's do the next step, um, which is to uh, purchase the asset from the external vendor. So we go back. Um, now we do the asset with the vendor. This is the same exercise we have done before. Um, so I will just go a little fast. So because these are just the repeated steps actually. So that is what we will be doing. <clears throat> then we have a, we select our account. This is the, we enter the external vendor. Transaction type, same, 100. Hit enter. We enter the amount. Then we enter the posting key, 70. We enter our asset. And then we enter here our asset which we created and you see this asset because it's a new asset because this is not capitalized. So capitalized date is 000. We enter the transaction 100, then we hit enter. We enter the amount which is 1000, hit enter and we can hit save. So see the message in the bottom, document 190023 was posted in the company code PBH1. Okay. So we are able to create a document. Now the same thing, we can verify document, we can check document, and we can see the posting date, we can verify content, go to the asset document. So all the same steps. So I'm not going through again and again. We have done multiple few times already. But if you see the asset uh, explorer for this document, 2338, so what we have. So here we have a, uh, you know, basically acquisition value 1000 and then we have posted one transaction 100 and excellent asset acquisition in US dollars. 
So we have done that. So we go back. So now in this, we see the asset explorer. We, we have done all these steps are so far same. So there's nothing different as far as these steps are concerned. And uh, now I want to post the credit memo. So that is what I want to do. do. The post credit memo. Okay. And uh, in the credit memo, I want to go to the transaction code ABGL. So ABGL is the transaction code. This is the new transaction code that we have not done before. So this is credit memo and this is ABGL. ABGL is setting up the credit memo against it. <coughs> ABGL. So this is transaction code ABGL. So where it is? It is in fixed asset, postings, credit memo, ABGL. Okay. Do you want to do current year or next year? We want to do in this current year, invoice year. So today, this current year, we want to do, and that is the region. So we go to ABGL. Now here we have, this is ABGL. This is where we have a credit memo. Okay. Okay. So make a note of that. So we put our asset account, we document it, posting date, transaction type, okay, and the transaction type is 105. So here we have asset. Transaction type equals to one zero five. We hit enter. Now, how much uh, we want to do as far as amount posting is concerned? So, so we want to do say two hundred dollars. Or whatever amount then we have offset entry hit enter and we hit save see the message in the bottom as a transaction posted with the document pvh1 400014 now we want to verify this accounting document so verify asset accounting document now how do we do that that we do with the transaction code av03 or av02 okay so here we verify so we go back okay so now here we go back to av03 we put our asset account fiscal year we put hit enter now what we see here in this we see that for that for this asset 2338 in this company code we have a two transactions yep because when you debit one account you have to credit another account right in accounting so here we have a so this we have done two transactions for this asset so the first was acquisition uh, external acquisition transaction type for 100 and the amount which we posted so we acquired this asset in thousand dollars so if you see that there's acquisition value of thousand dollar then the next transaction we did was 105 which is credit memo and the amount posted is minus 200 so there is a minus 200 because of credit so there's a minus 
Now, if I select that, if you select that here, then here I can go to the accounting document. Now, if I go to accounting document, then what we see here? So here, this is my transaction key 75. Posting key is 75 because asset value is reduced because it's credit. So if you see here, this is 75. 75 is asset value is so here what we see posting key so we see here posting key equals to 75 posting key equals to 75 which is credit asset Okay. We use here posting key 70, which was debit asset. <coughs> here we have posting key 75, which is credit to the asset. Now there has to be a so this is my uh, my credit uh, my asset is credited, value is reduced. And here we have a 50001 asset account. Okay. So here we have a 40. We have another posting key here. Posting key equals to 40, which is debit. So one account has to credit, another account has to debit. Okay. So there is a credit and there is a debit entry. Now, if I want to see this, uh, what is the document type? If you go here, document type AA. So here we have document type AA. AA is a asset accounting document. It's an asset accounting document. So we created asset accounting document. So these are the different postings which we have done so far. Okay. Now I want to go back and uh, verify Asset Explorer which is a transaction code AW01N. So we want to go back to the SF Explorer. External vendor. So we talked about uh, vendor credit memo process, right? When you're doing MM. So there's a vendor credit. We did that exercise, correct? Okay, um, so we do a verify asset explorer. We close that. We go back. We go back. Go back. Now I want to go to asset explorer. So I want to go to asset explorer, which is AW01N. Now this is what we see here. Now the acquisition value earlier was a thousand and now we have a credited the asset so the my my acquisition value become thousand minus 200 become 800 now if you see here also in the bottom system will say on this date we did acquisition thousand dollar transaction type 100 then on the same day we did a credit memo for 200 transaction type 105 which is a credit memo which is to re reduce the value so 1000 is acquisition 105 is my credit memo leftover value is 800 so value is remaining is 800 
what is showed is posting to asset in-house account. What do you mean? There is a vendor credit member, right? Have you done that exercise? How to do a credit member for the vendor? How do we do the credit memo to the vendor? How we did it in the class? How did how do we do it? Explain. Yeah, go ahead and talk. That's fine. Yeah, explain what is the vendor credit process we did? Okay, so here we have, and now if we see the depreciation also, that become 77. So that basically means the value has been reduced. Now, and the net value is 723 because the total overall value of the asset has been reduced with the asset. Sorry, I can't hear you now. Can't you hear me? No, I cannot hear you. You have to unmute yourself and then talk. Okay, so this is the value so we have a two we have a hundred dollar uh, posting uh, transaction type hundred thousand and that has the impact on everything else so what we basically we did was related to how do we acquire asset so in this we purchase the asset from the external vendor so that is the one exercise and then we posted the asset for uh, post a credit memo for the asset. What is the transaction code? ABGL. And here we can have asset transaction 105. And here we have an asset transaction equals to 100. So make sure that you are making note of all these different steps. And then we go from there. Then we verify that here we have a posting key 75, which is different. And here we have a posting key equals to 70. That is different. So there are two different posting key. So here the posting key is 70, and here we are posting key 75. So there are two different posting key. Okay. So that is what we have done in this exercise. Now I want to do some more exercise. Okay. Now what I want to do in exercise is we call it um, so we want to do another exercise that is called retirement retirement of asset. So we want to do retirement of assets. How do we retire an asset? We purchase asset from external source, internal source. You did a credit memo. You did a debit and credit. Now, let us say I want to do retirement. F des will call me later, okay? While we're doing this, some problem getting performed class. Okay? In this exercise, how can I get help? Call me, sir. Everybody calls me during the class. After the class, email me, call me, WhatsApp me. VF01 for SD. Yeah, but VF01 for invoice. That's not correct answer. F-27 for AR. That's not correct answer. Okay. Now, retirement for the asset. Now, how do we do the retirement? Now there are multiple way to do the retirement. Okay. So we want to do retirement of the asset 
or saving of the asset. So we go back. If you go back here, if you go back here, we have here something called different way of retiring. One of the way retiring is asset sales without customer. Make a note of it. We will do others also. You can do with customer also. You can do without customer also. You can scrap also. It is possible that after some point of time, your asset become a scrap. It has no useful value because that is possible. At some point of time, my asset value has been um, my asset value has reduced, degraded. Okay. So that is absolutely possible. Okay. And then we can also do other activities as well. So you can sell to a customer. If it is a, some kind of asset value, we can sell to a customer. It's possible. We can sell some customer. I have a machine and after two years, I want to sell this machine. I can sell this machine to a customer. And uh, if you have a customer master, you can also sell an asset value without customer also. Many times what happens is that, okay, if you have a customer master card, you can sell it to a customer with the customer master card. Sometime we do not have a customer or is some kind of a miscellaneous customer i just don't want to create a whole customer master just for an asset if you want you can create it and you can recognize which asset uh, which uh, uh, customer it is okay so okay So that is that is why we have multiple options. That another option which we have is asset retirement by scrapping. Asset retirement by scrapping. So we can scrap also. So it is possible that at the end of whatever number of period after the life or during the life, asset can become a scrap. A scrap can become at the end of useful life or even before. So let us say we have a asset sales without customers. There are multiple options which system provides us. Okay. So we have here transaction code. So asset sale, retirement of asset, sale without customer. And that is the transaction code. A B A O N. So make a note of the transaction A B A O N. So we go to there. So we go to A B A O N. I put my company code. I put my asset. Okay. And then uh, I can put uh, my posting date. I can put my asset value date. What is the revenue? If I'm selling it, what is my revenue of this asset? Whatever I can put some asset, whatever I want. And then we save it. That's it. See the message in the bottom. So message in the bottom tells me that asset transaction posted with the document number PVH1400015. Let us verify this document. So we posted this, but let us verify. Verify accounting document. Okay. So we can verify accounting document. AV03, AV02. Okay. Same way we can verify. We can go back. We go back. Do you want to cancel? Yes. 
exit. So now we go back to AB03. So we have a PBH1. I set is a 2338. We hit a hunter. Now this is what we have done. So for this asset, 2338 in this company code, we have acquisition of asset, transaction type 100. Then we did a credit memo, transaction type 105. And then we have done the retirement of asset, transaction type is 260. So what we have done is, so this is called, so what we verify, asset, transaction type and asset transaction type here is 260 okay so we enter the asset transaction type 260 that is what we see here so asset transaction type 260 make a note of it so now we have used different transaction type we have used 100 105 we use 260 and we use other transaction types as well. So multiple transaction as a transaction type we have used. Now I go to accounting document. So if you go to accounting document, then my asset value has been reduced because we have a, is a credit $800 because now we have sold it out. If I go to document type, document type is AA. So system created, asset document type, asset doc type equals to AA. AA is a document type which is there in the standard SAP for the purpose of doing asset transactions. So if I'm doing asset transaction, within the asset management, there's a document type AA. So make a note of this transaction type AA. Make a note of that. Okay, make a note of that. Now we want to go and verify the asset explorer. So I want to go back for an asset explorer that is AW01N. Okay, so make a note of that. So make a note of these steps. What is the best time to call you? You can call me any day. You know, in, you're in you are in India, right? Where are you located? In the evening hours of here, you can call me. You can email me, WhatsApp me. You yeah, can call me in the, your evening hours. <clears throat> and email me anytime like all everybody emails me all the time you can do that as well okay asset explorer so now we go back to the asset explorer Now this is what we have done. So in this we will see that here. Jesus Christ. Okay, here we have a asset acquisition, hundred dollars, the thousand dollars. We did a credit memo, transaction one zero five, and then we do the retirement of asset two zero six. And if you see here, we have acquisition value. Okay. So that is what we have done, the asset cycle. 
Now we want to do some more exercise. So there are quite a few other exercises which I want to do. So we did external uh, with the current memo, and then we'll do the retirement. Um, then we also do asset retirement. How can we do the asset retirement by scrap? So I want to do another exercise. So I want to do another exercise. This is asset retirement by a scrap. Okay. Okay. So here, we have asset retirement by scrap exercise. So for that, what we want to do? What is our steps? So for that, we basically want to do following. So we need to have, a, we can create a new asset master. So we can, means we can use existing, but we can quickly create a new asset master record also. This is AS01. Then we can uh, do the asset acquisition from external vendor that is F 90. These are the same steps. And then I want to do asset retirement by scrap. Over the period of time, what will become scrap. That is the transaction code A B A N A B A V N. Then you can verify accounting document. Make a note of all these steps. AV03. And then also verify asset explorer. That is the exercise we want to do. Okay. Make a note of these steps. This is our next exercise. How do we do? Asset uh, retirement via scrap. Now let's create asset master. So we go back to the asset master. So we go to AS01. This is same asset we have done many, many times, so nothing different actually in it. So the same exercise we have done many, many times. We just creating assets, so we can have a new fresh asset. So we create asset. So the asset 2339 has been created. Okay. We make a note of the asset. This is the same way as we created asset many, many times. So we create asset 2339. So we create a new asset and this is our asset number 2339. Now what we want to do? We want to do the asset acquisition from external vendor. Okay. This is also the same step which we have done many times. So we go back to, so in this step also nothing different. So we go to F-90, we put a document date. 
we can purchase the document we can enter the posting key hit enter transaction key 100 whatever asset value we enter the posting key we enter the asset value and we select our asset which we created today right now and this is the asset now this asset capitalization date is not there everything is blank 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 so because this asset has not been yet capitalized we have not acquired we have not capitalized so it's zero zero we put a transaction code uh, 100 same thing this is the same step we have done many times so in this step there is nothing different nothing unique we save it okay so accounting document 1900024 was posted in company code pvh1 So we have done PVH1. So now we have done all this. If I quickly check my asset explorer, as we have done many times. So we go to asset explorer. This is my asset 2339. And uh, I have $1,000. And this is my net value date. This is my amount, transaction type 100. So we acquired my transaction then we hit enter okay now we want to do asset retirement by scrap so what we want to do we want to do asset retirement by a scrap this is the transaction code transaction code for that is av avn av avn is a transaction code for So make a note of that. A V A V N. Okay. So we go to A V A V N. This is my asset. I put the document date. Asset value. Asset is scrap. And we save it. See the message in the bottom. Asset transaction posted with the transaction document number PVH 400016. Okay. So now what we want to do, we want to verify accounting document. We go to AV03. So we go back and we want to verify the accounting document. We go to AV03. We want to see what this document look like. We PVH1 asset and we hit enter. So this was my external uh, asset acquisition, transaction type 100. Then we did another transaction and this was 250. So here, what we verify in accounting document, we verify asset transaction type is Two six zero. The two five zero, not two six zero, two five zero. Two five zero. Two six zero. When we do the selling with the customer, that is two six zero. Two five zero. When we are doing retirement. Transaction type two fifty. If you see, there is accounting document. This is the accounting document. If you see the document type, there will be document type. Document type AA. After this is scrapping, if I go back and check my asset explorer, if you go back and if I go to asset explorer, then we can check asset explorer also. And um, this is the asset explorer. We click on it. And here we have a asset acquisition, transaction key 100, and then we do the retirement, 
there is a minus entry because this was the asset value one thousand dollar. We have not done any depreciation, etc. So we have a thousand dollars. Okay. So here uh, we will. We are so. Thank you. And uh, we will talk tomorrow. So we'll continue tomorrow where we left. Thank you.